As long as we're up here at the transport layer, as we started in the last video, let's go ahead and talk about another transport layer function called windowing. Here's what we're talking about. First of all, normal flow control looks like this. The sender sends a message, and the send in the segment, in the, the uh, TCP segment, is a number that is a sequence number. So, for example, the first one might be number one, sequence number one. Now, it doesn't actually start with number one. It starts with some random number uh, and then goes from there. And that's for security purposes, but that's beyond the scope of what we're talking about here. But it says, let's say that it starts with a sequence number in that segment of number one. A sequence is part of the header of a segment. And so the other host, host two over here, receives message one and sends an acknowledgement back that says, yes, I received number one, go ahead and send number two. Now, uh, the host gets that and says, okay, you've acknowledged number one, I'm going to send segment number two now, and it sends segment number two, that's acknowledged, and so forth. That goes back and forth, back and forth, uh, one at a time, uh, segment acknowledgement, segment acknowledgement, segment acknowledgement. However, there is a potential problem here, not a really potential problem, there is a slowdown. If we actually send acknowledgments back every segment, we're going to increase, or we're going to double our traffic. We don't really want to do that, so we use windowing. And windowing means I'm going to send a whole bunch of re replies back, acknowledgments back, uh, rather than just one. So what happens here is when the sender sends a, a group of packets, uh, the rece actually after the first packet, let's say that, uh, the first packet has sequence number one in it, the receiver receives it and in the, it sends back an acknowledgement, the acknowledge flag is set, the act flag is set, and at the same time uh, that act flag is set to some, or, or not the act flag itself, but a number in that header is set to some number, let's say 1,000. And what that's saying is, I'm not going to acknowledge again until I've received the entire first 1,000 segments. Now, once it receives 1,000 segments, it can send that acknowledgement back again to the sender. Now, that number can change. So every time it sends an acknowledgement, it sends how big is the next group going to be, or the next window going to be before I acknowledge. And the reason that is it needs to be kind of fluid is so that the receiver can, uh, can respond to how well we're doing. If everything's going really well and communication is in, we're almost never missing a segment, then we could set it to a thousand. But if we're getting a lot of errors, we're getting a lot of missed segments, then we might want to set it to 50. So we can change that number depending on how reliable that connection is at the moment. But that's called windowing and it just re it reduces the amount of acknowledgements that the receiver has to send back, uh, thus speeding up our overall traffic.